Welcome to this video on simplifying fractions. In this video, you're going to see something like this, 8x squared divided by 4x. And the first thing you need to do is simplify any numbers that are here. So we've got 8 over 4 in this case. 8 over 4 means the same as 8 divided by 4. So we can simplify these two numbers to just be 2, because 8 divided by 4 equals 2. And that's step 1 complete. Now we go on to step 2, simplifying the letters. And the way we do this is by looking at powers. Here we have 2x squared, that means to the power of 2. And on the bottom where you don't see any power, that means to the power of 1. So the way you simplify these is you subtract the little power from the big power. So in this case we have a big power, the bigger number 2 up on the top. So we subtract 1 from that and then we cross off one of those powers. Finally, we can write out 2x to the power of 2 minus 1 as simply 2x because the power 2 minus 1 just becomes to the power of 1 and we never need to write to the power of 1. So this is our answer. Let's go through another example. Here we have 6x squared divided by 2x to the power of 5. The first thing we want to do is simplify the numbers. Here we have 6 over 2, which is the same as saying 6 divided by 2. And if you put that in your calculator, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So we can write 3 on the top of a fraction and get rid of the number on the bottom of the fraction. And that's step 1 complete. Now we move on to step 2. When simplifying the letters, we want to subtract the little power from the big power. So here we have 5 down the bottom as the big power, and we're going to subtract the top power of 2, which is smaller. That means we cancel out all the letters on the top that have that power, and then we do 5 minus 2 as the power on the bottom. 5 minus 2 equals 3, so that's going to end up with an x to the power of 3 on the bottom of the fraction. So we can write the whole thing out now as 3 divided by x to the power of 3. And that would be our answer. So here's what you need to know from this video. You're going to see some kind of fraction like this, 12a squared divided by 3a. The first thing you want to do when simplifying those fractions is simplify the numbers. So here we have 12 divided by 3, and when you put that in your calculator, that equals 4. So we can simply write out 4 and keep the letters as they are. Then we move on to step 2, where we subtract the smallest power from the largest power. So here we have 1 as the smallest power on the bottom, getting subtracted from the top power, 2. That means this bottom letter is going to get crossed out, and the top one is going to be 4a to the power of 2 minus 1. Now 2 minus 1 just equals 1, and we never need to show 1 as a power, so the final answer is simply 4a. And this is what you need to know for simplifying fractions.